Hello and welcome back to American Farming. As you can see, we are straight back in to the forage harvest as we do uh, need to crack on with it and get it completed. Now, we only ha have the one field, but from what I've gathered from the headland that I've done a few times and all that, um, it seems as though we are going to have loads and loads of chaff, so I'm, I'm not too concerned um, about how much we're going to have. I'm, I'm feeling alright about this amount. I mean, we've nearly got 4,000 litres and we've just kind of started again here, so yeah, I think it should come out really nice. Uh, and then, of course, in October is when we can actually start harvesting the corn itself. Because uh, this is silage corn, so again, I don't know the reason why you would use silage corn over corn. The only logical reason that I can think of would be that you just produce more chaff from it. Otherwise, there is no reason other than that it's a slightly different crop. Um, but why else would you use silage corn? I don't... Unless maybe it doesn't actually get to harvest. Like, it doesn't reach harvest level. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't let it get to that stage because, obviously, I want to forage it. So it didn't matter anyways. Uh, yes, we'll just go back down this way. I think this shouldn't take all that long. And again, the last thing we have to do in September is this forage. And, uh, yeah, if we just keep spinning round and round like this, it should be alright. Uh, now... We do have a field straight ahead that needs to be... Did I cultivate? Oh no, I was going to direct drill, that's why. What was I going to put in there? I know I was on and on about different crops into different fields. But I think that field... What, which one is that? Is that 72, that one? Yeah, no, 70... Yeah, 72, and then this is 71. So yeah, so 72. Um, because I have kept some very... <clears throat> Very simple notes. Let's see if they apply. Um, I was putting that I was going to plant corn in, so I might wait. I might not do anything with that field just yet, although it will grow grass again if I do not cultivate it. So maybe it would be smart to do um, some cultivating, although we might even get a bit of a state of... F oh no, because we have precision farming, so no, no extra state of fertilizer from it. But uh, progress with this harvest is going really, really well. Um, and yeah, as far as like what we need for all the different uh, fields and all that, I'm really not too concerned because we are uh, into the autumn drilling time. So if we really need to get some some new uh, crops put in, we can do that either before winter or we can wait until the spring. And if we are doing corn, then uh, we might just be waiting until the spring anyways. Let's go around this way again. So this is essentially all the uh, all the the foraging is. I mean, what else do you expect? <laughs> Just go round and round until all the corn is taken. It will be nice to harvest some corn as well. So that's what we're doing in October. Although every bit, well, um, yeah, nearly every bit of corn is going to uh, be dried and then sold as dried corn, so we can make a bit more money off of it that way. I do have to confirm what the chickens need as a secondary food because I know they require not just grain but something else because I've decided to do that to myself. Um, <laughs> so let's have a look. So I think, I think it's sorghum. I don't know why I was thinking I could use corn for them but maybe I could. Ooh, can't see. There we go. <clears throat> right. So if we just get as lined up as we can and then I'll stick on cruise and just have a quick check. The chickens, oh right, so they require, they do require some corn but also, right, 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 which is why we have some potatoes, although I think the chickens took it all, or the cows rather, but uh, I'm not in any major rush to get any chickens anyways, we will get them fed in time. Now we are at 98, 99, 100%, so we'll stop that to not waste any more. And, uh, yeah, we'll go and unload this bit of chaff, and I'm curious to see how much we are actually at. Now, I'm going to fold that in, and I need to remember every time to unfold <laughs> the, uh, the forager itself, because I always forget to unfold it. Now, this is going to be first time. I'm going to get it first time. We need to be a decent distance away, but not too far. 
Ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful. And the chaff goes in. Happy days. Right, okay. Let's, uh, since we can't see from here, let's check very quickly and see that. We have, yeah, we're going to have so much chaff. Um, we might even hit, what, 90? Oh, no, it goes very slow. So it might hit 100. Oh, never mind. Not quite. How did it change? It went to that. That's very strange. Why it would do that? Anyways, um, oh, nearly. Nearly 100. Right, well, it's converting very quickly. So, what we'll do now is, uh, you know what? We'll head back to the field and we'll get the forage harvest completed. There we go with another full trailer of chaff. So this will be our third in the episode. Uh, we did have a, a second that I uh, just cut out because I wanted to get straight back to uh, the uh, harvesting itself. So we are back, heading back rather, towards the fermentation silo uh, to unload another 26,700 litres of chaff. Now, with this next load, we won't get obviously neither that much, but I have to finish up the field Nevertheless, now this is so incredibly inconsistent. Oh, there we go. Brilliant. So I will let that go in. I'm going to head back over to the field. I'll get the very rest of it cleaned up. Uh, now the nice thing about, um, about this is that we now have... We just have to wait. We just have to wait for all the chaff to convert to silage, which it has been doing very, very quickly. So, really no complaints there. Uh, the animals are fine for food for the time being. The straw is good. They are getting milk, loads of milk already. Uh, slurry is adding up very quickly as well. I'm sure their manure is very full also. Uh, so what I'll do is I will quickly uh, complete the harvest. I'll get all the rest of the chaff loaded in to the trailer here. Uh, from there, I can put it back into the, not back into, but rather into the fermentation silo. Uh, and then from there, we can move on to October and get some corn harvested. Good morning and welcome to a rainy October morning. Right, we are just getting into the alfalfa field here, which will now be turned into something else. We are going to get a course play helper here to cultivate. I was going to do a winter crop in here of wheat or barley or something, but since the other fields are corn already, I'd like to do this as a grain crop instead. Um, especially since we... I want to do a bit of, you know, crop rotation and all, um, and especially since we have... Uh, up in this field, we've got our uh, canola, which is really good. So that's in, uh, which is nice. Now here we've got this, so let's get the... Right, that's not the right... How? What? Two meter working with. Oh, that's not the right thing, but while I'm here, I think I'll just get that. There we go. Now, is this not five some meters? 5.3 meters, okay. Don't know why it's so off. Right, no course. Let's do two head. Well, we'll do three. Fine. Uh, generate. 
Yeah, it still loads. And... That should be good. Start job. So we'll allow it to do its thing. Oh. Okay, we're going to go that way, I guess. No matter. Uh, we can tidy that up at the very end, or it might even get tidied up when it goes around the, uh, the headland. Nevertheless, it is going. So we're going to hop out, uh, allow the helper to crack on with that. We'll get into our combine here, our gleaner. Now the header, I think we can leave the trailer here. But we do have to head back in towards the farm there to collect our corn headaches. We do have it. I don't think it's on a trailer. I do think that we can attach to it directly. I hope so, because if not, we, uh, we might have to get another tractor to dig it out. But uh, not a problem. We are going to head to probably the big field first. Uh, we do have a couple of small fields nearby that also could do with uh, harvesting. <laughs> All of our corn fields are ready to harvest. I'm very excited about it because I've never done the corn drying yet before and I feel that this is the most appropriate time to do it. Or at least the best opportunity to do it, uh, at least. Yeah, the greenhouse has been a bit sad. Uh, I've got all this kit here that really needs to get washed and cleaned and put away. And uh, good, it seems that we do not have a trailer, or maybe not need a trailer. Still need to line up, though. Right, now there shouldn't be an issue with getting out of here. I don't think we need a trailer. <coughs> I was going to say, we have the flatbed if we need, but we don't, because it is full of tomatoes at the moment. Oh yes, absolutely no. I don't think we can fold it, can we? No, we can't. That's fine. Alright, so we are going to head to our first field, which... Oh, bouncy, bouncy. Oh, there we go. Um, should be just... Yeah, just over here to our right. I think that's the best one to do. Yeah, this one's corn, that's corn, and then that. So we might as well do the closest one first, and see how much we get from the biggest field then go on from there because we do have uh, a few more nearby that they're, they're a bit down the road one is a one's quite far away but uh, I wanted to space them out so it's not all immediately in the same same area which I think worked out especially since this map features relatively only large uh, fields anyway so the fact that we have a few small ones for our little farm is really quite nice we are gonna head over here let's see how the help is getting on Oh yeah, there we go. Brilliant. Oh, don't want to go in the ditch. Not today. And here we are. So, let's get everything fired up. And let's get straight into the corn harvest. Look at that. Look at that. And you know what? We are getting... Um, something... Some corn... A something rather I don't think it's worth uh, chopping just because it is because um, we are using precision farming I don't know if chopping has the same sort of effect as uh, for, for precision farming I could be wrong but it doesn't matter anyways because we are getting something now that might be corn stock um, but I didn't know that it would chop it or, or um, Swath it. I guess that's fine. Perhaps we can sell it. Maybe that's something we can sell. Yeah, it will be interesting to uh, to find out exactly what's going on there. But that means we'll have three fields uh, to uh, get all of the corn, whatever it is, out and uh, and baled and all. <coughs> I'm a bit concerned though that because of that, we might not be able to use our baler with it. Actually, here, let's just get to the end of this, and I'd like to check to see if our baler is uh, compatible with some something that we're not familiar with. Because it would seem a waste if we're just... I mean, again, we're going to either cultivate it in, we're going to direct drill over top of it, or we're going to collect it in a bale form, I haven't decided yet. Either way, it's not like it's causing any issues, or we're not wasting uh, chopping either way. So it's not a big problem, I do just want to find a natural place to sort of stop. So it might just be the headland here, but 
Again, this is the bigger of the three cornfields we have. Um, bigger by quite some amount as well compared to the other two. But uh, it's, it's all good, really. There is no pressure on this series at all. <clears throat> this one was just really uh, just fun. Because I've never done a proper sort of American sort of playthrough. Let's play. I don't mind it. I don't mind this kit. I don't mind this style. Um, I do definitely prefer, based off my previous uh, series, I'm sure you can tell what I do prefer, but uh, I do I do quite enjoy this. And I mean, it's, yeah, it's good to experience uh, new things as well. So, right, we're nearing our headland here. Mostly what I'm on about is look at the swath, how it's off to the side. Never seen that before. With any other harvester. Oh wow, it's very loud. Very, very loud. We're back here. Right, so let's have a look at our baler and see. It doesn't say at all. What? <laughs> I wonder if we go. Is there anything in the sale? Oh, no, mm, nah, nothing we can really use. Um, that's very strange. Uh, do any of the other balers show... No, of course not. They've never shown that. Where can we find that information out? Possibly here. Corn stalks. That has to be what it is. It has to be what it is. Um, cracked corn... Because we are... Okay, so we had... Okay. Fermented cornmeal, we're not doing that. Wet cake, I do not know what that is. Something corn related though. Perhaps a production. Uh, dry corn is what our main focus is, so that has to be corn stalks. Now is that anything that can be used for? Because it just looks like, it just looks like straw really. Um, price wise it's better. Ish, I suppose, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm a bit concerned that this is going to be wasteful, but uh, you know what? It doesn't matter because it is still a byproduct that will find some uh, use for. Uh, nevertheless, I'm going to go uh, probably another headland at least, just to give myself loads of room for when I need to turn round. But uh, yeah, this field once we get once we get another headland done, it'll definitely make it seem a lot smaller. But uh, I will also keep an eye on the helper. Actually, before we crack on, I should check and see. Oh, they're getting on swimmingly well. Right, uh, if I see any notifications that they've stopped, I might move them onto another field, uh, or I'll just crack on with this harvest. Either way, enough rambling from me. Let's get the corn harvested.
and just the tiniest little bit of corn remaining and the harvest is complete. Well, <laughs> one field at least, but it was the, the biggest field of corn as well. So the fact that we did get it done is uh, very good. I mean, it was inevitably going to happen, but uh, we got it all done in one. Right, and we'll take this over to uh, the lorry, which I am very pleased I opted for, uh, considering how much corn we actually got. So we got another 7,000 litres here. We're going to just get this prepared in the rear compartment here. Get that opened up. Oops, I hope I'm wrong about him. Hello there. What's going on? I've got way too close, have I? Yes, I have. Way too close indeed. Alright, we're going to spun around again. So yeah, I'm not too certain what to do with all the uh, corn stalk stuff here. I'd like to think I could sell it, but I also don't want to uh, end up in a spot where I'm stuck with it. Hello. What's going on? You what? <laughs> you having a laugh? Unbelievable. It's just like the bloody fermentation silo again. So particular. There we go. So, by the end of this we should have about 20, what, 5, 26, 27,000 litres of corn and uh, that's going to bode very, very well for our drying session. You know what? That's what we're going to start with. So, what I'm, well, not start, rather end with. Right, so I'm just going to, for now, just shut this down, leave it here in the field. We can uh, come back to it later on. Uh, I do also see that the helper is finished, the calls play helper, so I'm going to check it as I drive by. Uh, but, in the meantime here, I'm going to make our way to the farm, and we can get some uh, corn drying underway. Right, so here is the dryer, just to my right. Now, I will be honest, I, uh, I haven't used this yet, so we have to uh, figure it out. But it should be pretty straightforward. The corn has to go into... I think that's it there. Let's have a very quick check, though, just to see what's what. Just to see what is what. Right, so as you can see at the very top there, there is the icon for unloading. Um, the production thing, there is not one I can see, but that's fine. Not a problem. All we need to know is that we need to get the corn into there. So now we can remove that. I think the best thing to do is to get one of these, because we do need the, the big one here. And we'll slowly make our way, very slowly, 5 kph, very, very slow. Might as well start the uh, unfolding process. Oh, no, no, we must wait. It doesn't like unfolding and driving. Uh, we're also going to have to fetch the John Deere to hook up to this. As you can see, we've got PTO there. I think we loaded one of these bins already, so it's pretty much the exact same thing. But now we do have to be conscientious of where the, uh, yeah, this is, okay. Well, this might be a bit difficult, but we'll have to just wait and see. Is it going to reach? Now, I suppose that's, oh yes, if it reached the bins, it should reach this, no problem. All right. Let's get lined up as best we can. Right, the ground here is a bit funny. Let's get that out, which makes it a bit more difficult. Um, turn, please. Turn the other direction. I'm absolutely, definitely turning the other direction there. Yeah, I'm absolutely turning the other way, and it's not going not having it, eh? Oh, okay, well, at this point, I mean, you would get out and you'd be like, okay, well, this isn't going to work, so I must have to do it by hand. So I'm going to just pull this, oh, not the whole thing, just a bit to move it over. Brilliant, just like that-ish. Ah, oh, wonderful. <laughs> when you can't be bothered. 
Okay, let's get this lined up here a bit better. Ah, oh, the ground is just rubbish for this, which is absolutely my fault. I just don't know how this is going to work. Oh, it's going to be extremely problematic. Okay. Let's learn together. Let's learn whether or not it works as a team. Okay, starting the bushes, there we go. Um, I think first thing I do need to relocate this. This is gonna be in the way. I can just I can just tell now. So I'm just going to Why is everything so stupid? <laughs> it's not... Look at it. It's not even... Alright, that's quite enough. <laughs> well, we're having some very technical difficulties here on American Farming today. Nice. Okay, so... What's next? We have to turn on... Right? Maybe it just... Maybe now it's fine, because it's connected. Let's try this, shall we? Oh, there's no bloody way. Yeah. Alright, sure. Uh, I'm going to rearrange this here, just one moment. Right, so we've got it a bit more sorted now. Now it's just a matter of finding out if this can work without having to be bumped into. This might just not work at all uh, with the belly trailer, but you'd think that would be the best way to... Oh, yes. I was genuinely concerned that this was just never going to work. Well, augers have always been a bane. Any time I've done any American farming style stuff, and we've had augers in Evolve, it's always been absolute shambles, but it's working, sort of. Nope, it's not. It's stopped now. Unless that's all it can hold. It holds nothing. What's happened? What did happen there? I... Ah, now it's going in. Oh, it wasn't proper. It wasn't... Oh, why have you done that again? learning something here, I think. I don't know what exactly we're learning, but here, I'm going to try and get in. Oh, you can't. When this is hooked up, you can't actually get in. It does seem to be lined up a bit. before what's happened okay it's going in now can it just why does it stop <laughs> I'm so confused is it empty no it's not even close not even bloody close I think I keep uh, bumping it is why yeah this is a terrible terrible place uh, for this setup. Yeah, this is this is a very, very terrible spot for it. Um, still don't fully understand what's going on. Still trying to find that sweet spot. Yeah, these are very touchy. There you go. I'm just going to hold it like that. Why is it moving? I'm not moving. This is probably one of the single most annoying, like, especially when nothing's changed from the previous thing. Oh, no, it's still, see? Lies. It's not the team. Yeah, that's okay. We, we did try something cool and then it just went sort of completely pear-shaped. 
try this again, shall we? To get over top of this without... It's just, it's just too sensitive. It needs, uh, it needs more weight. So you give it a slight bump and it goes flying. Absolute lunacy, that. Like, I can't be more over top of it. There we go. It should go directly into... Okay. Well, that's empty, so that's fine. We can relocate this now. To the back. Yeah, this is definitely more of a faff than I was could have anticipated at all. I was very excited about corn drying and now I can't really couldn't I can't care couldn't care less about it. <laughs> it's still it's still oh bloody hell it was working as well that that's bloody stupid. Yeah I think it's a combination of the belly trailer um, and the uh, mystery moving Olga. There we go. Disconnect from that. Go back in here. I'm going to try and put it as low. There we go. As close to it as possible. That way there's no possible way it could miss. Right? No possible conceivable way of missing. Okay. Now we'll get back into the lorry. That we do have the second belly activated. Yep, tip side back. Okay, allow me tippage. Oh, hello. Oh, look at that. Corn. And is it going in? Sort of. Come on. Get in. See how easy that was? Absolute simplicity. <laughs> Only joking. That was a faff and a half. Now we can go to corn dryer, see that we have 27,000 litres. Okay, well, we do have lots of corn, to be fair. Uh, let's get it activated so we can get this bloody corn dried. How quickly is it going to start going? Nice. Pretty quick. Pretty quick. What an absolute faff that was. Now I'm going to keep this set up as is. I'm not going to destructively remove it. I'm going to shut the engine... Uh, down on this, at least, and uh, and go on from there. So yeah, the next time that we do some uh, corn harvesting, we will uh, at least have it set up and ready to go. But my, 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 what? That, literally, we've arrived at Faf Central Station or something, because that was the faffiest faffing I've ever faffed. <laughs> oh. Right, well, we might as well just leave this here for now, because honestly, yeah, we've, yeah we, we're, we're done with that for now. Uh, I still have to sort out what to do with the corn stock. It would be nice to be able to use it for something, but I think it might just end up being a byproduct to sell, which is somewhat unfortunate. <laughs> the, uh, the helper here tried their absolute, uh, their absolute best to uh, get this started. Okay, my key for activating course plate does not work anymore. So that's fine. We'll sort that out in the next episode. But for now, we are going to leave it here. Uh, this has been a faff-filled, corn-filled, chaff-filled episode with lots on and also not that much on. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. <laughs> and uh, until the next one, of course... Uh, yeah, please let me know how you're enjoying American farming. Uh, we are working out the small kinks and such, because, I mean, for example, using an auger to load in corn or grain or anything is not something we're used to. So it is nice to uh, change it up a bit, um, even though it is a faff, of course. And, uh, yeah, happy days for it. So, right on. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the episode of Cheeky Thumbs Up, really does help out the channel. And please subscribe. So until the next one, please do take care and bye for now.